Oh, howdy all, grab yourself a drink, it is time for some Path of Exile discussion. Today, I wanted to continue a series looking at harvest crafts that are often overlooked. We're not looking at the expensive stuff like augments, we're not looking at the super rare stuff like fractures, we're going to instead look at things that people can easily just say, oh, I don't see a use for that. Today, we're going to be looking at upgrade a magic item to a rare item, adding four random high tier modifiers. Now, this is an interesting one in that it has several use cases. One way that it tends to get used by a lot of people is just pick up an item that has two good mods on it already, a magic item, and then just apply this to add four more. Or you can roll an item that has exactly one good mod on it and then apply this to get it up to five high tier modifiers on it. And that's a reasonable use for it. However, I do think there's a couple of other uses as well that are more often forgotten. I want to talk about how you use this on cluster jewels. So you're probably thinking cluster jewels. We know that if they've got item level 84, as this one does, all of the high tier modifiers are pretty special on them. You're probably thinking, oh, if that would work, but there's only space for four mods. How do I make a magic item with no mods? Well, the answer to that is an orb of annulment. So we're going to identify this. We're going to have a look at it and say that it is currently complete and utter trash. So we're going to scour it. Then we're going to transmute it. And you'll notice that this has two mods and isn't any good. We're going to just throw an alteration on it. And that's what we wanted. We've got a one mod cluster jewel, an annulment orb. And now we have a magic item. We are going to upgrade it to rare with four high tier modifiers on it. Now there's no guarantee you're going to get anything good. And in this case, I think I didn't. We got uh, tier two armor, tier one scintillating idea, which is a medium quality, medium quality mod. Uh, we got tier one intelligence and tier one lightning resistance. This is reasonably good without being great. So what we needed for this to be fantastic rather than just reasonable was for one of the prefixes to be 35% increased effective mods or something else spectacular. We didn't get that, and so this is a reasonable roll that probably won't sell for any more than the base does, but it does give you a bit of an idea as to how this craft can work. The other good uses for this, you can use it on an exactly item level 81 shield, and then the highest tier mods that can roll on it are the tier one increased maximum resistance rolls. So do keep that one in mind as well, as I think that that is a pretty powerful use for this too. In that case, you would probably want to get one of the maximum tier resistance rolls. So ideally you'd get plus two to all, all resistances, but maybe you get plus three to maximum fire resist. And then you've got that on a magic item. You then slam it with this add four mods effect. You've got something great. Another potential use for this craft is to use it in conjunction with meta mods. If you get one very rare attack mod and then you bench craft cannot roll caster mods, and then you slam four mods onto it with this, you've got a reasonable chance of getting something great, but that's starting to get more expensive. Anyway, that's all I've got on this. May your Valobs have interesting results, and I will see you around.